Hello, my name is Yesenia Villalobos. I'm currently a senior and I shall be graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Family and Human Services. Today, I will be presenting on examining the association between relationship status and number of chronic health conditions among US Latinx adults. To begin, here are our introduction. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, US Latinx adults die of heart disease and cancer at the same rate as non-Latinx white adults in the U.S. However, U.S. Latinx adults have a 50% higher rate of death due to diabetes compared to non-Latinx white adults in the U.S. So what are variables that could be potentially influencing this disparity? This leads to the first research question in this study. Is relationship status associated with the current number of chronic health conditions among U.S. Latinx adults? The second question in this study, does the association between relationship status and number of chronic health conditions vary by gender among U.S. Latinx adults? To help answer these questions, a sample of 798 U.S. Latinx adults was included. The respondents in this study had to be 18 years of age or older, identify as Hispanic or Latino, and be fluent in English or in Spanish. The average age of respondents was about 39 years old, and about 46% of respondents had zero chronic health conditions, and about 29% of respondents had one chronic health condition. To help answer the research questions, a statistical analysis utilized was the one-way analysis of variance. Results for question number one showed that respondents who were currently not married but in a relationship had significantly fewer number of chronic health conditions compared to respondents who were married or in a civil union. The results did not support the hypothesis where, this, where the hypothesis states that respondents who were married or in a civil union would have fewer chronic health conditions compared to respondents who were single, not married, but currently in a relationship or widowed. So the results were quite quite the contrary of the hypothesis for question number one. For question number two, there were two parts to this question. The first part is among women, those who responded not married but in a relationship had significantly fewer chronic health conditions compared to those who were married or in a civil union. This does not support the hypothesis where among women it was stated that there would not be an association between relationship status and chronic health conditions. The second part of research question number two is among men, those who were single and those who were not married but in a relationship had significantly fewer chronic health conditions compared to men who were married or in a civil union. The results here did not support the hypothesis where it was stated that among men, the those who were married or in a civil union would have significantly fewer chronic health conditions compared to men who were single, widowed, or not married but in a relationship. So again, the results here were opposite of the hypothesis similar to question number one. The results in this study suggest that being married may not be a supportive factor in regards to the health outcomes and the chronic health conditions that a US Latinx adult might endorse. These findings are inconsistent with the existing literature on non-Latinx white adults where the existing literature has shown that being married does tend to be a supportive factor in regards to health outcomes and uh, chronic health conditions endorsed by non-Latinx white adults in the U.S. Even though the results are inconsistent with the literature, they do help in preventing chronic health conditions among U.S. Latinx adults by focusing on targeting married U.S. Latinx adults. Moving forward, research should examine whether variables such as age or gender non-conforming relationships are associated with chronic, with chronic health conditions. That is all I have for today. Thank you so much for your time and attention.